Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, in this video, we are going to see, how to create the contact us form using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo, in which we are going to see the full screen background, and contact us form. See even we resize the browser window, the background image occupies the entire window. Look at the contact form layout, where it has two columns and one row. When we resize the browser window below 600 pixels, we can see the two column layout turning into the one column layout. To achieve this easily, I'm going to use the Flexbox concept. And we can see how responsive the contact form is. And also go through the Dropbox link below this video, where you can download the project folder of this demo. Let's get started with the HTML structure. First, create the wrapper development with contact form development in it. Inside the contact form development, create the two child developments with different classes. Inside the input fields development, create the four input fields with input class to each. and assign the placeholder value to each input field. Finally, create the text area and button development inside the message element. Let's open the structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. In this demo, I'm going to use the Roboto Google font family. First, search the Google fonts keyword in the search engine, and open the first link in the new tab, and look for the Roboto font family, then click on the add button. Then include the CSS import link to our styles sheets. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Use the box sizing property so that the padding and margin values are included in the width and use the outline property to remove the blue border around the input fields. Now add the Roboto font family and here sans serif is the secondary font family. In the case, if browsers do not support the Roboto fonts. Now set the full screen background image to the body, pass the image into the URL method of the background property. Then set the no repeat value to stop repeating of the image, and set the background position value to top center. Use the background size property value to cover, so that the image occupies the entire window.
Then whenever we resize the browser, the background image is not fully occupied. Now set the height value to 100 VH, where VH is viewport height. Viewport height divides the window into 100 equal divisions, and so that the image occupies the full height across all devices. Now place the wrapper vertically in the center relative to the body. Give the 100% width and padding. Style the contact form div element by setting its max width to 550 pixels. Here max width does the magic, by making the contact form responsive. Use the margin auto value to place the contact form horizontally in the center. Set the background color using the RGBA, so that we can achieve the transparent background. Set the 30 pixels of the padding and 5 pixels of the border radius. Here I'm going to use the flexbox concept. Now set the display value to flex, to turn the contact form into the flexbox container. In flexbox we style the parent elements, to affect its child elements. Here child elements are contact form and message elements. By default, the flex direction is the row. So the two child elements lying in one row. Change the flex direction to the column. We can see, how two child elements lie in one column. Now turn the input fields element to flexbox, and use the flex direction to the column. Give 4% of the margin right. Set the two child div elements width to 48%.
Now style the input fields in text box, set the margin, and make the background to transparent. Set the two pixels of the border bottom. Give the 10 pixels of the padding. Change the color and give the 100% width. And increase the height of the text box. Change the placeholder value color. Here, WebKit is used for the Google Chrome. Moz is used for the Firefox and MS is used for the Internet Explorer. Now style the button element. Now when we resize the browser window below 600 pixels, make the contact form flex direction to the column. Decrease the text box height. and set the child element's width to 100%. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section. See you in another video.